Hey everyone, today we are going to learn about picture graphs. Let's go on over and take a look. We are going to build a picture graph and use it to answer questions about the data we collect. Using a picture graph will help us visualize the data we have. Here are a bunch of colored pencils from my class at school. We need to answer some questions about these pencils. But first, we need to organize them into a picture graph. Let's organize these pencils by color. We have quite a few pencils here of different colors. Let's count the blue first. There are one, two, three, four blue pencils. Now let's count the red pencils. We have one, two, three red pencils. Here we have one, two, three, four, five green pencils. Last, we have the pink pencils to count. There are one, two, three, four pink pencils. Great! Now we have our data to put into the picture graph. To start our graph, we need a title for the picture graph. Since our data is dealing with the colors of the pencils, should we call it pencil colors? Yeah, that sounds great to me. Here on the left, we will list the different colors of pencils that we have. Up on the top, we have blue, then red, then green, and on the bottom, we have pink. We can label this side colors, so we know that this side of the graph shows us the colors of the pencils we have. This graph is starting to look really good. Now, to show the number of colored pencils we have, we are going to use these pictures of pencils. Each one of these pictures will represent one pencil. When using a picture graph, we need to use a key. The key tells us what the symbol or picture means. One of these pictures represents one colored pencil. All right, now we can put the data on our graph. Let's start with the blue colored pencil. How many blue pencils do we have? We have four. Great job! So I will use four pictures to represent the four blue colored pencils we have. How many red colored pencils do we have? We have three red pencils, so let's put down three pictures to represent the three red pencils. How many green pencils do we have? We have five green pencils. Let's put down five pictures for the green pencils. Great job! We have one more left to put on the graph. How many pink pencils do we have? We have four pink pencils. So let's put four pictures to represent all four pink pencils. This is awesome, guys. We now have a picture graph that shows how many colored pencils we have and how many of each color. This graph gives us lots of information. Now we can answer some questions. Are there more blue pencils than green? If we look at the picture graph, we can see that the answer is no. There are more green pencils than blue. We can tell that by seeing more green pictures than blue. Now, can you tell me which color has the least amount of pencils? Red has just three pencils, and we can see there are three by the pictures on the graph. Last question. How many pink and red pencils are there together? There are seven. When you add the four pink pencils to the three red pencils, we get seven. Great job, guys. Keep practicing your picture graphs, and you will get to see the big picture. See you later. Thank you for watching. Please share the video and subscribe.